day one of our four-day romp. Today is from home in Padia up to Kanchanaburi, about 470-odd kilometres. Myself, Bebsy and Declan on the bikes, and Eric and Carlo are going to go up in my truck. They'll go up via Bangkok. We'll go up over the top. Morning, punters. Glav here. 6.30am, day one of our ride up to the Kanchanaburi and Sacklerberry. Done this ride before, but got a mate, Carlo, over from Australia. He's going up in the car. Wanted me to record this, which I'm doing. On the way to the first meeting point, just heading round Mapachan Lake, picking up Bebsy and another blood. We'll ride up. Merrick and Carlo will go up in my truck. Looks like the weather's gonna be good. Happy days. We've got off the 331 finally. And we're about 30 k's off it actually. And we're just following some back roads. I guess we're south of somewhere in Nakon Naok. Nice little road this one. Quite scenic. Carlo and Eric had more time than us because they went up through Bangkok. So they visited Erawan waterfalls while we were still in transit over the top. They had a great time. It's the morning of day two, so we're at Kanchanaburi. That's the River Kwai, you can see in the background there. Uh, we're going to skip, we're going to skip Erewhon Falls today because Carlo and Eric did that in the car yesterday. So we're going to try and fit in everything we're going to do tomorrow in St. Clairberry into today. So three Pagoda Pass, um, the modern bridge up in St. Liberia and of course on our way up Crazy Cave which is part of the Death Railway and Hellfire Pass very important spot for us Aussies should be a good day blue skies looks good happy days so I've got the lads lined up behind me on two bikes and then the trucks further back heading to our first stop will be Crazy Cave this is part of the Death Railway where the railway track right sort of follows round the cliff above the River Quay. Quite an interesting spot if you come to Kanchanaburi. A lot of people miss this one. Nice roads, country, just regional roads we're heading through now. Love this sort of riding. Lads to Crazy Cave, which is a must-see if you come to Kanchanaburi. There's a cave in there with Buddha inside, but this is really here, what we're here to see, and this is part of the Death Railway. Um, and this, as you can see off in, to the distance there, winds its way round the River Quay below us. That's the river down there. And the trains still run here, up the track here, to further up, up the... Um, uh, mountain. The idea of the Japanese was of course to get a supply line from North Asia right down to Singapore and of course that was going to be their launching point for um, conquering further south including Australia. Unbelievable. Beautiful and horrifying at the same time. The men that lost their lives, the POWs, mainly Australian, English and Dutch, and also the local Thais that were enlisted to work on this as well. The train still runs along here every day. There's some of the lads there. 
We're actually inside the cave here. There's a couple of Thai girls chanting, praying to Buddha. So we've just left Crazy Cave, now we're heading sort of back up towards the highway. This is a great bit of little bit of road here. Very twisty, I've covered this before but got to be careful on this road, they get a lot of monkeys. I've come up belting up here before on the bike and there's been a four or five monkeys all over the road in front of me. I'm on the 323, taking the lads to Hellfire Pass. Very important historical spots for Australians. The forefathers lost their lives there during the Second World War in the hands of the Japanese. So here we are at Hellfire Pass. Uh, we're just waiting for the boys in the car to turn up. They've taken the wrong turn somewhere. Um, as I said earlier, extremely important for Aussies, Brits and Dutch. Thousands lost their lives here at the hands of the Japanese. I've done this a dozen times, so I'm not going to do it again, but just wait for the lads to come here. If you ever come to Canchat in Bury, I'd recommend this. There's a digital museum inside where I'm pointing, very, very technologically advanced. Then you get a set of headsets and you walk the pass. Um, very moving. Just, just walking through Hellfire Pass, this is where they cut through the rock. Um, pretty eerie. I'm in between Sayok and Sanklaberry. This is a very nice piece of biking road. Yeah, You're skirting around the lake, dam, water catchment, whatever it is, just beautiful. Really is very, very picturesque. Some of the best riding roads you'll ever find around here. I think I've said that before. Coming up to a police checkpoint, it'll be very interesting to see what happens here. I've just gone through. <laughs> oh no, Eric's not being stopped again, I hope. So here we are at Three Pagoda Pass. This is 
the border of Thailand and I'm walking towards the actual border of Burma or Myanmar. Always shocks me how small these three little pagodas are when you get here. In the photos they look 15 times that size, but anyway. Now this border, um, only Thais and Burmese can cross this border. Foreigners cannot, is my understanding. There's lots of police checkpoints. Unfortunately, Carlo and Eric just got pulled up at a police checkpoint. We got wade through so they'll go through the whole car for them so I don't expect them to turn up for about 10 minutes 30 feet in front of me there that's uh, Burma Myanmar good morning beginning of day three we're at the mountain lodge resort or something like that it's sort of just out of Kanchanaburi um, it's about 7.30 in the morning and we're in Thailand. We have pea soup fog. Um, the roads are soaked from the fog, so we wanted to put the drones up this morning over the Mon Bridge, but we're going to have to wait for this fog to burn off. I've been here before, it did the same thing, but it wasn't as bad as this, but we'll see how we go. Happy days. Long, this is the longest timber bridge in Thailand, 850 metres. Halfway across the Mon Bridge now. Pretty cool, I must say. Throwing the drones up over at Sanctuary, we're heading back, and they're forecasting big, big rain. We're trying to get through the mountains before that torrential rain hits. As I always say, the best motorcycling roads in the dry are the biggest nightmares in the wet. There's all cloud covering the mountains already, so. Anyway, that's motorcycling, take the good with the bad. So we're over on the banks of the River Quay, teaching Beb Bebsy how to use his new drone. He's a worry, I'll tell you. There's, the, br there's, his, there's the bridge over the River Quay. There's another dude here with a drone too, we could have a dog fight. We've got the train coming over the bridge over the River Quay. He's had to slow down because there'll be some tool on the bridge. Yeah, yeah, like standing in the middle of the bridge. brought my mate Carlo up to the bridge of the River Quay. This was our must-see, of course. There he is, the tool, standing in front of it. Fortunately, the train came over before, which we caught a video of, but he wasn't up here for that. Anyway, happy days.
beginning of day four, we spent the night last night back in Kanchanaburi, and it's just a uh, transport leg home today, essentially. Another big ride, we go up over the top, 450, 460 kilometres. It's supposed to rain today, so don't know how we'll go, but happy days. We're about 230 kilometres from home, and just started to piss down rain. Pulled up. The rain is torrential, but it's going to get dark soon, so we're going to have to try and do a very slow run. Ah, what a mess. It was late in the day when we finally made it home, even though we're all a bit wet. Please remember what I always say, people. Life can be ever so short. Therefore, live life today.